All right, everyone. So uh, in this video, we're going to show you how we created our own very, you know, very own baseball with the stitch work and the name in there, uh, utilizing some of the neat tools and effects that you have here in Shortcuts Lot 5. All right. So let's go ahead, uh, take a look at uh, how we created this. I'm going to go ahead and go to a new new page here. And over here, first thing that we need is we need the ball, right? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold my shift button down, choose the circle, and that way I have a nice circle there uh, for the baseball. All right. Now, um, let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and change this here to uh, white uh, up here in the top corner there. And that's going to represent my baseball. All right. So the next thing that uh, I did is that we need to create the stitch work. Uh, the stitch work, uh, I utilized some tools from the library. And uh, just to you know, somewhat focus here just on the stitch work, uh, I'm bringing in the library. Uh, you type in the word arrow, and this is what I used right here. So very, very easy. Click on it. It now placed a, a nice little chevron right there. Okay. Great. Now, let's go ahead and um, the next thing I need to do, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. I need uh, to have a rectangle. And, uh, you know, again, my, my job here right now, my focus is building the stitch that goes on the baseball. So we may need to zoom in on this just so we can get a better idea of uh, what's going on. So I have the rectangle selected. And just to make things easier, I'm going to go ahead and choose the color of red and hit OK. All right. Now with this here selected, I'm going to go ahead and draw the, the box. OK. And I want to go ahead and click on the arrow and move it into position. Now, this part may be a little bit tricky for, uh, for everyone um, because sometimes your snapping is turned on and it's hard to position this stuff. So if you are having issues with it, Go up to uh, View and then Snap To and make sure that all these are unchecked marked. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, stretch this out just a little bit. And what, what I'm really looking for is, you, you know, try to get this thing centered, uh, first of all, and try to extend it just a little bit past uh, this right here. So that's, that's my goal anyway. All right. And you'll see why here shortly. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and select everything, and I'm just going to go ahead and click on the path union. So again, it should look very similar to just an arrow. All right, so uh, go back into zoom and view everything, and then there's my circle. All right, so that's my baseball. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the circle, and I want to copy this to my clipboard because uh, I'm going to need uh, a couple copies of this here shortly, but I, I just want to make sure that it's going to be always on my clipboard here. So I'm going to click on Copy. Now the next part is we need to create, you know, the stitch work, the stitch work that needs to to go on the top and bottom of the baseball. So to do this, uh, we need to have an arc that would allow us to, uh, you know, look like a stitch. Okay, so for this, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, choose a circle, and you know, I'm I'm just looking for something that can give me somewhat of like a, you know, just a little bit of a, a path or a stitch work for me to use. Um, you can use a circle, an oval. Uh, I'm going to try an oval on this and just see how it works. Okay, all right. So we have that. Now it, it's time to uh, you know create the stitch work and let me go ahead and hide this and grab the grab the arrow here and I think once you once you see what we're going to do here you, you'll see why uh, and how we're doing this um, what I want to do is I want to build a path of arrows uh, build a set of arrows anyway uh, to create the stitch work along this path here so we're going to use the effect menu and we're going to use the object on path okay it's grayed out and if you remember from the object on path lesson that we need whatever we're trying to put on the path to be on the top layer and then whatever the path is going to be uh, that's going to go around on the you know below it so um, select the arrow select the circle I hit I held the shift button there for it and now it's time to go to the effects menu and then we're going to go to object on path I always like doing an auto preview to see what's going on. And now the stitch is you know, going the opposite direction. 
of what I want. So let's go ahead and reverse the path. So now I have the, the arrow going correctly. Now it's time to build this. So the start offset, I'm just going to increase this here uh, right until it starts to get on the baseball. Okay, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and increase the count. All right, now let's go ahead and decrease the spacing. And you can sort of see that the, the stitch work is now coming into play, right? So let's go ahead and decrease the spacing again. And I think that looks good. Now, it does look kind of jaggedy on uh, some of these edges here. So let's go ahead and choose this button right here where it's warp to path. So it sort of bends, bends this here just a little to give it a nice curved effect. All right. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the weld, and then I'm also going to choose on remove path. And that's simply going to remove this oval here. Now you may be asking yourself, well, I see some of the stuff sticking over the edge. We're going to take care of that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And remember, we, we copied the circle uh, onto our clipboard. So if you did not do that previously, please make sure you select the circle and copy it to your clipboard. We're going to select both of these. And then now it's time to go up to Path. And I'm going to go choose Intersection. And it kept the stitch. Let me go ahead and recolor that back to red. And now I'm going to go up to Edit, Paste in Place. Okay, so we have that set. Uh, so we have a nice, nice stitch work there. Uh, now we need to apply that stitch work on the bottom. And we're going to use a symmetrical mirror for this. And um, for this here, you can see it's just one piece. Uh, I'm going to select both of these. And, and remember, we still have the original circle on the clipboard. Okay, uh, because that is key. So anyways, uh, we have them both selected. Now I'm going to go up to the Effects menu, and I'm just going to go Symmetrical Mirror. And I'm going to do top to bottom. Now you're not going to see anything here in the preview of like the stitch work, but uh, just know that it is going to be down there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now we have the stitch work on the bottom. Now the reason why I said that you may need to keep that clipboard uh, or keep that circle copied on there is sometimes the symmetrical mirror will actually put a fold line right in the middle. So you don't want that. Okay. But anyways, uh, checking a quick preview, I don't see any lines that are going through here, so that's good. So we, we got the baseball effect. Uh, that looks beautiful. Now it's time to add the text to this. So I'm just going to go ahead and click anywhere on the mat, and I use the word Smith. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in Smith. Uh, I did change the color to black. And now it's time to position the Smith. So let me go ahead and uh, increase the size there, and it, if you want, um, you know, to help you out as far as centering this stuff, you can see that you, you know it's getting, you know, this box is here, and, and that's what I was kind of getting at with the symmetrical mirror portion. Uh, it, you may see that it's it's doing something like that. I always want to say I, I want to make sure that I'm doing everything correctly with this. So, um, if your version is acting like this. Uh, just go ahead and delete that and do an edit paste in place of the circle and move the circle to the bottom. Okay, so I have the uh, the Smith there. I have the circle selected, and now I'm going to go ahead and choose the uh, the centering here. Okay, all right, that looks great. Now it's time to uh, you know give it the effect of uh, you know the bulge there. All right, we can use the effect on here called the bridge warp. All right. So if we were to increase the bottom and decrease the top, it kind of looks good. Let me go ahead and make sure that we're mirroring that. And then if it's not big enough, you can always change that. And you can also change the height on this to kind of give you what you're, what you're looking for. Now, something that you may want to pay attention to is, you know, hopefully this arc here matches this as well. All right, so hopefully you guys can see that uh, in the video. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. That looks good. All right. And then I, I just did a, a quick, um, with this, with the text anyway, um, I went ahead and did this here. So I uh, selected the text, and I went to Effects, and then I went to Shadow Contour. And if you take a look here, you notice that you don't see anything. 
and that's because of uh, the, the, the layering here. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to Effects, and then go back over here to Shadow Layer, and then we should see this with the uh, Smith selected, obviously. So there, and now we got the correct letters. That looks great. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK, but I think I chose red here, so I'll choose it. Okay, good deal. So that looks beautiful. Uh, we got that, and then uh, obviously the ball. And you can either leave it with no shadow. Um, I did do a shadow on the other one. Um, just made it red, just to give it uh, a neat little effect there. But anyways, that is how you can create your own baseball um, inside of Shurkats a lot five. Uh, fairly easy. Uh, and, and everything there. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, you'll continue watching with some other lessons. All right.